Welcome to the cookbook kitchen, the home of cookbook recipes with your one and only Carol. And today, guys, we have a very interesting video as always, as always. And today we are cooking from the website Creative in My Kitchen by Claudia and Kamakawa. I'll put a link in the description for this exact recipe. Today, the recipe is all about flat bread so today's video guys is all about gluten-free flatbread and this flatbread we are going to make it using some sodium flour and some green plantain with some fenugreek powder and other things that i'll show you when i show you what you are working with today so welcome to today's video i hope you get to enjoy it let's see what we are working with so this is what we are working with today i have some olive oil of course i have my green plantain I have some sorghum flour, I have some fenugreek powder, I have some tapioca, and this is some baking powder. This is all that you're going to need, and of course, and, uh, and salt, yes, I forgot, and salt, guys. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to peel our plantain and boil it in hot water for 20 minutes. So we are going to boil our plantain with some for around 20 minutes, some salt and the recipe says you put some boiling water so I've boiled water in my kettle. So we are going to let it boil for around 20 minutes so guys our plantains are ready so we go to the next step so in the next step you're going to need a blender we will blend our plantain with a quarter cup of the hot water Get the quarter cup of water, then remove this aside. The next thing I'm going to add is the uh, olive oil, and then we add the fenugreek powder, then we blend. I think our mix is ready. So for the next step, you're going to mix our sorghum flour with our baking powder. This is okay. Then you're going to put our plantain and olive oil mixture here so the recipe says that we need to add the sorghum flour in stages slowly by slowly as we mix I think this is okay. So 
here we go guys so the recipe says that we need to divide it into eight balls equal balls how is that possible i feel like my glue is so sticky okay this one will be smaller so once we divide we need a parchment paper you take a parchment paper and you dust it with some sorghum flour then you flatten the dough with your hands but let's dust this too mm -hmm. but it's okay it's not as, as soft as i thought eh? the skin mm -hmm. and we flatten with our hands a bit then we dust a rolling thing too. Mm -hmm. Then we Yo, yo. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's working, guys. Okay. Now, parchment paper is all over the place. I think this is okay. Gee, you. Why are you frightening me? I think I'll leave it at that. Then, we need to flip it with the parchment paper from the pan. Eh? And we'll put the first flat in here. And then, I flip it. Then I flip it on the pan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Oh, oh, whatever is big, yeah. So when people so I have to fold it a bit and bit. Why? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now it burn. In fact, when people will burn. No, 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 please, 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 please. Oh. Ah. Hmm. Look at this, guys. Look at this. I think a lot of flat. Papa Yanga, Papa Yanga, Mana Naimba. I think I put a lot of, I dusted it with a lot of flour. So, the next one, we are going to reduce the amount of flour. We're going to use for dusting because the cuts have been so white. But it's coming out nicely. Baba Yango, Baba Yango. Manao Naimba. Singing and dancing. Look at that. Yeah, for the rest of eternity. Yeah, we put a lot of flour. A lot. So we need to wipe the pan a bit. Then we reduce the amount of flour that you're going to put in the next one. I think this one is ready. So let's repair this one. We avoid dusting it with a lot of flour. Oh Lord, now it's getting stuck. 
no, 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 what do we do? Let's just put a little bit flour, but not a lot, and it gets stuck. We dust again. I think this is okay. Yeah. See this one is better. The pan is clean. Our gluten free flatbread with sorghum and plantains. They are ready, so we need to taste. Oh, yeah, we need to cover. They are very, very, very soft. It's hot. Very soft. Very soft, guys. So let me taste, and then I'll tell you. Look at that. They look really nice. So let me taste. Mm. Mm. Wow, they taste better than I thought. They are soft, they are not dry, they are very soft and um, I didn't think they'll taste this good. I didn't think they'll taste this good. I don't know if I added enough salt. I feel like mine needs a little bit more salt. I think I forgot to add salt, enough salt. But apart from that, they are excellent. They are soft. These are things you can do with some beef stew, some lentil stew, however you like to have your flatbread with. I think it's simple. If you have some green plantain and you're wondering what you're going to use it for just get some sorghum flour and a few more things and make this yummy flat bread i'll put a link in the description for this exact recipe guys it's gluten free enjoy let me know in the comment section what you think about this particular recipe have you tried that have you tried it out and if you try it out let me know and yeah that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you like it and see you next time Bye-bye and God bless. Ooh.